Hi, I'm Chef Nikki Shaw, featured chef for Cuisine Noir magazine, and today we're partnering with Tony Sacheries. We're making a delicious recipe with Creole salmon and pineapple skewers. I know you're gonna love it. So before we get started, we're gonna take our 10 inch wooden skewers and we're gonna soak them in water for about 30 minutes. And I'll add some water and this will prevent our skewers from burning. I'll take my skinless salmon filet and I'll use the thick portion of the filet and I'll cut it into two inch chunks. Next, I'll lay my salmon in the pan and I'll pour one cup of Tony's Creole style seafood marinade on top. I'll cover my pan and let it refrigerate for about 30 minutes. While the salmon is marinating, we'll cut up our fresh pineapple. Now you can cut it up yourself or you can buy pre-cut pineapple in your produce department at your local grocery store or you can use canned pineapple. Cut each slice of your pineapple into two inch chunks. Next, I'll cut up my red bell pepper into two inch squares. I want the pieces to be nice and uniform because that makes the end product look nice. Okay, so my salmon has been marinating for 30 minutes in the refrigerator. I've cut my fresh pineapple into two inch pieces and I've also cut my red bell pepper into two inch pieces. I like for everything to be around the same size so that it cooks evenly. Now we're ready to assemble our skewers. So we'll start to thread our salmon first. We'll slide that down the two skewers. Then we'll grab a nice piece of red bell pepper, slide that down to meet the salmon. Then we'll grab a chunk of pineapple and another piece of bright red bell pepper. Come back again with a nice, thick piece of salmon, another piece of red bell pepper, another chunk of pineapple, red bell pepper again, and we'll finish it off with a nice piece of salmon right on top, just like that. Okay, I've covered my pan with foil. Now I'm gonna spray it with nonstick spray. That makes cleanup easy and I will place my skewers right on my pan. I'll preheat the oven to broil. I'll take my fresh lemon juice and squeeze it all over the top. Next, I'll take about a half teaspoon of Tony's Bold Creole seasoning and sprinkle it right on top. Try adding other vegetables to your skewers like onions, zucchini, or even mushrooms. I'll let that broil for about 10 to 12 minutes until they're done. All right, so I'm gonna plate it. Oh, this looks so good. It's been cooking for about 10 to 12 minutes and it looks amazing. This is a great meal all by itself or you can serve it on a bed of Tony's Creole butter and herb rice. Either way, you're gonna love it. For this recipe and more, go to cuisinenoirmag.com and tonysacherie.com. Enjoy.